This is Dub FX in Estonia with VP Meets. Big up yourselves. As far as musicianship goes, I would say my f- my primary role would be to be a percussionist. That's how I first started when I was like 12, playing drums and percussion. My whole family are all musicians and actors and dancers. Coming from that, I already kind of saw that that was a possibility, but my dad's like one of the only ones has a business that's had nothing to do with music and art. And he was always saying to me, look, your uncles, they're cool, they're talented, and they've had some really glorious moments on stage doing this and that. You gotta make sure that you've got something to fall back on, you know, because one day you won't be good looking, fun, you know, artistic guy, you know, you're gonna have to need some sort of a pension type thing. So I always thought, all right, if I'm gonna do it, I have to make it big or I have to really do something that creates like an, uh, a longevity in my career. I did my first gig when I was 17. And then when I was about 23, I moved to Europe and that's when I bought the van started street performing and I abandoned the idea. I mean, I, I, before that, I was performing with like five or six different groups. In all of those projects, I had my effects pedal. So my mic was going to my effects pedal and um, that was the, my thing. That was why I was in also all those bands because I was the guy that could do these reverb and delays live in the spot. I was pitch shifting my voice. All the stuff that Dub FX does, I was doing it in these other bands. And then that's how I got really good at learning how to use the effects. And that's the thing a lot of people don't realize. I think that Dub FX is a loop artist. I use a loop station, but the effects pedal that I use is the heart and soul of my sound. And I would play the backing track on an iPod and then I would sing and play guitar over the top. It made me stand out already because other buskers were just playing an acoustic guitar and singing on knocking on heaven's wall for like 10 hours. So on the first day I ever went street performing, I remember I made 237 euro. What I would make in a week working at a cafe in Melbourne. I was like, this is a no brainer. And I rather, I wanted to, I, tr- I called up all my bands in Australia by the way. And I was like, you guys got to come out. Europe's the place and everyone's like, no nah, man, you come back to Australia. It's gotta be, it's, we gotta make it big in Australia first and then we'll, we'll go to Europe and America. I'm like, whatever, see you later. And then I learned how to use the loop station with my effects pedal on the street. And that's where I created my sound was on the street. And I started that in Manchester and uh, moved around the world. And three years later, after living in a van, I got someone filmed me, Ben Dowden filmed me and put it on YouTube. And that was uh, the beginning of my viral career. Right. Dance all stage. Eccomi, Mr. Daniele Ferrazzano. I am. 
Okay, well then everything seems to be in order, right? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Anche se era tipo una 40 gradi a fare il spano con il tuo zio 2100 metri Riesco no? Si vede? Sembri tu, ci sembri nato I'm calling out if you want to connect I'm reaching out with you Seeing all the people that have got nerves And they're trying to get rid of the nerves I'm trying to create them I have to create the adrenaline Hey! The reason I went to Europe and pursued a career over here, I could see in advance, like sort of like a chess game, like a bunch of moves ahead. I can see what my options are, what my realistic possible outcomes are going to be given my interactions with the people in my surroundings, given like what's going on, right? I'm able to look at it and go, this isn't going to finish well if I stay here. I'm going to get the fuck out. I'm going to go over there. Now here, ooh, here there's a lot of opportunity. I can see that I could do this, that. You know, every time I see a lead, bang, I jump on it. If I feel like I see hitting dead ends, I'm like, all right, let's move away. Remove those obstacles. Let's go over here. I mean, I'm not a particularly good singer or a good beatboxer or a good songwriter or a good rapper. I know how to make opportunities for myself. That's really what it comes down to. I could even do one more song if I really yeah. want to. Go ahead. Wherever I perform, whatever country I'm in, whether it's Russia, America, or Brazil, or Estonia, or Italy, the crowds always seem to be a very similar. They seem to be quite conscious people. It's a very expansive age group, anything from 20 to 55, 60. Well, English crowds are really good because they, they really get music, how it's put together. They have a, a knowledge of music that I'm always learning, even from people who aren't music producers or musicians. They'll tell me things or point things out about music, about productions that I'm like, oh shit, how did you even hear that? But Eastern Europeans is, I would say, you know, if I was to group it together, that's where I have my biggest crowd. Yeah, I've done so many shows in Estonia. This is probably my sixth or seventh show. Eighth show, I can't remember. It is fucking cold. It is really, really cold. <laughs> Are you ready to have effects, sir? Do a fix. Well, I was freezing my butt off, that's for sure. But um, it's very beautiful. Hello. Hello. He wanted a picture with you. Okay, no worries. Hello, man. How you doing? Big love, the effects. It is a really spiritual thing. A lot, a lot of people might disagree with that or not even understand it or just think, no, that's shit, man, what are you talking about? But it really is like, it's a ritual. It's something that you're, you're opening up an energetic field and you're connecting to an infinite well of knowledge, consciousness that exists all around us. It's always there. And if you open yourself to it and you connect to it, you can project this, this stream of consciousness into people around you. You know, everyone's felt it. When you're captivated by a performer and you're like, oh my God, you feel this, this energy coming at you and you just, you're in awe of some artists. If you allow yourself, you can connect to that and become a vessel, become a channel to direct this, this energy and, and leave people awestruck. Do it in a street, do it in a club. Now we getting deep, just let your eyes shut. Get your soul ready for immersion. Do it in the street, do it in the club. I know you feel it even if you can't hear it. We resonate you with a new version. <laughs> you are top dishes. Top dishes. <laughs> top dishes. <laughs> The core essence of DubFX, actually, is those videos. The albums are just whatever, like, that's just me in the studio messing around, 
experimenting, having a good time, writing songs. Usually I'm on the rooftop or I'm on the street. They're the two places. That is the core essence of the dub effects vibe and the sound and the performance. Let the rhythm come straight from your hips, yo. Let your cooler with the flow in the field, yo. Let the rhythm hit your flow like a feed now, 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 now. Tangerine is the champion. Um, World champion. World championship of grapes. What's the sport? How we can call Grape it? Grape throwing in the mouth. Grape throwing in the mouth. Paralympic. Oh, <laughs> this was with the ring, huh? Look, you so know. I'm a cock addicted. You're cock addicted? Cock, cock, cock addicted. Only coconut water. Uh, uh. Just cock water. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm. You drink your cock water. Bloody. Uh, I'm gonna drink my grape water. You want some wine? Would you like some wine? Yeah, okay. I'll put this here for you. I'll give you that. Okay, right, this is for us. And I'll give you one after. Yeah, chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin, to, chin, to, chin. to Estonia. Fire every day. There's nine songs on the album, which is like a six to eight page comic book. Like one song's acoustic, one song's drum and bass, another song is hip hop, another one would be like moody electronica. Then there's another one called Fire Every Day and that's more of a silly cartoony kind of thing about a girl. She's on her phone and then her phone runs out of battery so she plugs it in and then she notices her apartment's on fire and she's like, whoa, what the fuck? So she runs out in the street and she's like, my apartment's on fire and everyone else is just like on their phones, not giving a shit and they're on fire as well. And then she's like, hey, you're on fire. And no one no, ever like, get away from her, they're on their phones. And then she freaks out because she realizes that the whole world's on fire. Segway robot police officers are chasing her down the street because she's causing all this fuss. And then eventually she goes back to her, po her room and plugs and her phone's charged and then her apartment's fully on fire. And she's like, ah, oh, it's fine, everything's fine. The youth, yes, I'm waking up the youth. All right, it's a fire every day, burning in my alley. Are we hanging out? <laughs> okay, cool, start, go. Don't know what I'm talking about anymore. What's the point? What are we talking about? Music, awesome, yeah, we're back. You can edit all this shit out too. Legalize it. Stop me now. Don't stop me because I'm having a good time. Having